rapping, oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping, oh my God. Yo, what's up guys? It's Nasaline, and so tonight I just got back from watching the movie Split. If you guys don't know what it is, this video might not make as much sense to you. Pretty much, it's about a person who has not only multiple personalities, but apparently has different humans inside of him. And he has different actions and movements compared to who he is, which sounds like multiple personality syndrome, but like he can even have physical changes depending on who it is. So I kind of just wanted to go through this movie and get like my in-depth thoughts of it and what I think and what it's like making me believe because a lot of people say this movie really makes you think. And honestly, for the past like three hours, I've been like thinking about it and unraveling it. So if you haven't seen the movie already, I really recommend seeing this or seeing the movie and it probably won't make as much sense watching this. But if you have seen the movie, you'll kind of get along with what I'm going with. And maybe you already know what I'm saying and you know more. If you do, leave it down in the comments. But if you didn't like catch this, maybe this will help you get some. So so anyway, if you haven't seen the movie, um, go check it out. And this is going to be straight uncut, just kind of expressing what I think. So first of all, when we come in, we obviously see that she has bruise marks on her. And that must mean that um, that her uncle was beating her, which if you don't know, um, my guess is he had multiple personality syndrome too because he wanted to be a wolf and he had that kind of sexual desire for her. But then at the same time, he had the normal adult. And then you also saw him get angry later. So I do think he has a multiple personality and I think it's even less control than the actual guy. Um, shoot, I'm already forgetting what his name is. Whatever. I, I, I keep thinking of Hedwig because that's just the guy I remember the most. But when I'm looking at that, what I'm thinking is obviously this guy must have it and he's like controlling the daughter. So the reason the daughter is so good at working with these people is because she's been dealing with it all her life because her uncle is a part of this. So if that means that's why she was the only one to escape because she knew what to do in those situations. She's been living for it. On the other hand, she's had this sense of pain. So another question in my mind is if she's on the verge of receiving this multiple personality syndrome and she just hasn't hit it yet. Because when you're looking at it, all these people are getting numerous personalities from different experiences. For example, you get the, uh, whoever the OCD guy is, you get him because of his experience as a child where his mother would beat him if he did not clean his room perfectly. And that's how the OCD personality came about and he became an OCD person, which is one of the differences you can tell by who it is. So if that's the case, then maybe she's slowly starting to grow these habits and she hasn't received personalities yet. Another thought I have is that at the end of the movie when she's locked in the cage and she's got the shotgun and the beast is like, you have a pure heart, but you've been through pain. You're not impure. And if you've watched the movie, impure means like that... You've never had an experience. You've never had a bad experience. For example, the rich white kid growing up in the suburbs where his parents always paid for him. Everything was done for him. He never had to worry about anything. Everything was taken care of for him. He never had to work for anything. He never got hurt. He was always having a good life. He never had any problems. That's what um, the impure is to this guy. And he thinks that everybody can be pure and be made. Sorry, I shook the table. My knee hit it. Um, can be made pure and made to understand more by having these pains and experiences. So by that, he's torturing and hurting these girls so that they maybe get pain and then achieve their better, what he thinks is a better form by these multiple personalities. And the woman who is um, deciding them thinks these multiple personalities are actually a growth of the human body, allowing us to overcome different situations based on what we need. Unfortunately, this guy could not handle them. So then he was forced to go in between without real dominance of his body and deciding who he is. So this brings up the question of how many people can you be at once? For example, I don't have the syndrome. I think I'm Nick. I know who I am and what I do. The question is, if you go through enough pain, can you start to develop numerous personalities so that you can overcome different situations based on who you need to be? For example, if you're in a video game, you may pick a uh, certain operative to complete a certain mission because you know he'll be best at that. For example, if you're playing a baseball game, you don't pick Michael Phelps to be your first baseman. Like, you go by who's there. And it's kind of the same thing with this. What personality you need is based on what is needed for the situation. The question is, how do you control that? But going back to the pure, 
the the one question I have is either she's growing and becoming more a multiple personality, or the other thought is that people react differently to different scenarios. For example, the guy, he went through bad experiences. He had an awful time. His mother OCD and beat him. His father left him. And this is how he builds up the multiple personalities in his body. On the other hand, the girl's been through experiences like this. Her father dies. Um, her uncle raped her. Well, m molested her. And then her uncle is now taking care of her and also beats her. So the question is, if that doesn't build a multiple personality for her, does that come to suggest that human beings react to pain and torture differently? As in, she has actually become better because of it and has learned, but is still one personality. Whereas this guy has gained multiple personalities. And then another question is, is it really bad? Or are they just responding differently? Because as you know, species adapt to their environment to survive. That's evolution. So if that guy is in evolution, is she another evolution of human beings, but as a different type? In the sense that she doesn't need numerous personalities as he does. She keeps it all in one person and just uses her experiences in one mind. That's kind of what I was thinking through it. Also, at the end, I have another guest. Um, I forget what they called the guy, but they were in the diner and they were talking about it. And she's like, didn't I know a guy like this 15 years ago? He went into a jail and knew an insane asylum. And I forget what movie series the guy's from, but he's sitting behind him and he goes, yeah, his name was, I want to say Mr. Dennis, but I think I'm wrong. I'm guessing that guy is Mr. Dennis. I just have a guess. Then at the other end of the movie, you see the multiple personality syndrome guy. And he's talking to himself in the mirror and all the numerous personalities are switching off. And you can almost see the good personalities minimizing and the bad ones coming out. Which the question also is, are really of them any or are any of them really bad? Because when you're looking into it, they're all wanting to do the right thing and do the good for people. But they're just doing it differently. So is there really a bad or is it just an altered mind to think wrong? And this may, like, what, oh man, when I first thought of all this, like, it all came to me at once. My brain just exploded. Another guess I have is that one of the multiple personality syndromes killed uh, the girl's father. The uncle was the one that killed the father. Just a feeling I have. Um... I'm really hoping there's a second movie because they they set it up like there could be. There's the other multiple personality syndrome guy that they talked about and then zoomed in on him. I'm guessing he's one. Will the girl adapt and grow multiple personalities or will she stay the same and kind of be the alternate version of the superhuman being? What will happen to this guy? Honestly, like when you start the movie, it seems silly and it kind of like you actually laugh during the movie and then it, it turns and it makes you think more. I, those are some of my thoughts. Um, if I'm missing anything, leave it down in the comments. So pretty much the basis I have to say is, does pain evolve us into a better human being? Um, how much pain is too much? And is being able to develop multiple personalities good for the human being, bad for the human being, or neutral? How would they be able to control it and which one would be better of the evolved species? Because I do believe this girl is kind of, not, not really an evolved species, but she's adapted to her environment. Like at the end, she doesn't want to go with her uncle anymore because it reminds her probably, she's just had enough of it. And I'm wondering whether she's just a different kind of adaptation than him. Or if he had a son, she would be the adaptation. Oh, that just hit me. See, like, the more you think about it, like, it just hit me. He came up from a person who didn't have multiple personality, and she came from a person who has multiple personality. So if he had a person locked up with him long enough, would he become like the girl? So then is that a second evolution? Or are they equal evolutions of each other? And this is really geeky. It's, oh, if I think of more stuff, I may honestly just make another video talking about it. Um, I also think... What do you think of the beast? Because the beast is starting to overcome the body. And now he's taking control over the people. And he says, like, pain is what makes us stronger. So is enough pain going to cause the actual human body to mutate? Or will we only mutate mentally? Is there a possibility for human mutation um, physically, too, due to our environment? Which... We have kind of seen it. If you don't know, for example, um, 
like Africa, dark skin, and this isn't racist. If you take someone from Africa and you move them up to the north, like Europe or Russia, and you leave them there, and they only mate with people of their race, so African American and African, or not African American, but you know what I mean. They only mate with their race, and they stay there for hundreds of years. Eventually, they will start becoming paler and paler, and actually eventually could theoretically become white and this is just a theory but um you can see it over time through generations so then if that's a mutation of the body that we can do due to just adapting to the environment then the question is can you adapt to the environment in other ways through stress these are all just a couple thoughts i have if i think of more i'll make another video like this if you guys like this kind of video leave a like if I miss anything, tell me in the comments and I could talk about it in another video. I could honestly just make a series out of this movie just thinking about it. So if you guys want more, leave a like. If you've seen the movie and you didn't think of any of these things, I hope they taught you something or made your mind blow. I know they did when I first thought of it. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Check me out in the description below. If you haven't seen the movie, make sure to check it out already. It's called Split and YouTube. We'll see you later.